uh, almost stating the obvious, but there is no one size fits all. I know that especially now, and especially the last few years, we've seen a, a really big increase in articles and posts and things on TV about sleep. And, and they seem pretty general and vague, you know, top five things to sleep better. Right. Um, and most of those things are great tips. But if those things don't work for you, or if you just can't fit it into your lifestyle, then I don't think you should give up on getting better sleep. You know, I was talking to a, a new mom who of course isn't getting a lot of sleep. <laughs> yes. And she was like, well, you know what? I'll focus on it in, in a few months or so. Which of course to her made sense, but I'm like, so you're just gonna be totally okay with not sleeping for a few more months, not even a small change. Yeah. Because, you know, she read some list that said you need to get eight hours of sleep. And mm, she thought, well, yeah. that's not for me. So I guess it's just not what I'm going to do. So it's important for people to know that these things are so, so common, but you don't have to just go with some generalized list that you find on Instagram. There are sleep coaches and sleep doctors that you can talk to. Yeah, I think that's great advice because it, it's that mental roadblock we all have in, in various things, not just on sleep, but Mm -hmm. We'll come up with some reason why it's okay uh, and kind of just blow it off and keep going when, and, and we make it kind of absolutes, right? Either yeah. or you hear the eight, eight hours I must have, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm seven, I suck, forget it. Right, right. Yeah, especially in sleep or I'm sure with, with exercise and nutrition and everything healthy that isn't just a pill, it's, it's consistency and it takes time. Yeah. You know, there is no magic pill to help you sleep better even sleeping pills truly are not meant for long-term use and yes. so even that's not a magic pill <laughs> important point important point because i've heard so many things around the sleep medications that people end up getting onto it systemically and it's it can actually cause the inverse yeah um and again because i just don't think people know enough about it and you see the commercials for all these sleeping pills but as far as I know, there is no, and you know, if a pharmacist is listening, please correct me, but there is no sleep aid created that is meant for long-term use. So even if you get on something, you know, maybe you're just really having a hard time and you really need something to help initiate that sleep for you. Sure, it's a sedative that will put you to sleep, but it's not a natural sleep. Right. You're sedated just in the way if you drink too much, you're sedated, or if you go under anesthesia, you're sedated a little bit of a different mechanism that happens in your brain, but you are sedated. You're not naturally sleeping. And so over time, you might just not really feel like you're being rested anyway. You might not feel like you got sleep anyway. And it could, you know, people get addicted and they have other side effects. So sleeping pills, of course they have their place, but again, unfortunately, a lot of it is behavioral. And even the most clinically effective treatment for insomnia is actually behavioral therapy first and then oh, wow. prescription medication. Okay. Just not aware of that. So, Most so yeah, well, I guess that's kind of underlying the, the whole point, right? We're, we're <laughs> talking about and um, hopefully the rise of the type of services that you provide to uh, becoming more part of the overall kind of, we'll call it the wellness spectrum mm -hmm. and, and how important that is and, and because we all want to perform well, right? We only get one of these lives. That is true. And I do see a lot more sleep coaches popping up and a lot of them have experienced insomnia for themselves or sleep apnea for themselves. And I really love that because those people, of course, it's a little bit easier to relate to people in that way. Right. But those people felt how awful they felt and then they got treatment and they feel so much better. And I think that if you're suffering with a sleep disorder or just you know, generalized insomnia for a really long time, you sort of get used to it and you just think, this is my life. So once you start to feel a little bit better, it can be so life-changing. 